right, guys, we're going to be taking a look at this killer solo from none other than Warren D. Martini of Rat. And uh, this is Way Cool Jr. from 1988, Reach for the Sky album. And uh, this was towards the end of sort of Rat as we know it. There was one more album, Detonator, before they broke up and reformed uh, in different configurations. Um after that, um, currently, um, Warren is not participating in any rat related activity, so that's a bummer because Warren is definitely one of my favorite all time players. His style is very slippery and uh, it's bluesy, but it's got a lot of attitude uh, to it, and it's got sort of that. Um, 80 sensibility in terms of vibrato, really wide vibrato and phrasing. He's definitely a rock player, but he brings in that, um, brings in some of that bluesy stuff as well, which I think sets him apart. A lot of people compare him to George Lynch, and for good reason, there are some similarities, but I think in terms of note choice is really where they're different. And, um, some of that has to do with the types of songs that they're playing uh, over, you know, when they come to the solo. So we're going to take a look at all of this, the solo, and I'll show you the backing track as well um, in just a sec. But before we get going, uh, make sure and check down below. This solo is a little tricky, so I would highly recommend going over to my Patreon where you'll find the tab and the Guitar Pro for this. Now, I'm running a... Uh, seven day free trial on the patreon so you can go in there and you can check this out you can get it and download it check out everything else going on there's a ton of videos already and a lot more coming so you can see what this is all about but if you just want the tab and the guitar pro now's the time to go over there and just sign up and for free and then get it and you'll be set now um also i've got a free gift for you guys it's called five blistering licks to light up your fretboard this is a lot of fun this has some licks by george uh similar to george lynch and eddie van halen randy Rhodes, in the style of i should say so make sure and go check that out too there's a link below for that so let's get to it let's um before we get going on the licks let's talk about the tuning which is standard and also uh the backing the backing track should have mentioned the backing track is also available over at Patreon. Now that one's not free, that's in another tier. But if you do want the backing track, that is available. Um, the backing track, um, the, the chords behind the solo, let's put it that way, start out on a C sharp minor. <laughs> Um, that's another lesson, the riff. But um, the, uh, the, the chord progression then is in the key of C-sharp minor. The main uh, song is in the related key of E major, although it kind of dances around sort of like an E mixolydian sound. Um, but uh, you can think of these as relative keys. So when it kicks into the solo, you can hear a difference in the tonality of the, the uh, backing chords as compared to the rest of the song. But uh, you can also think of this as E major scale if you want to, but I would encourage you to think of it as C sharp minor. So that first chord is where the, uh, the first lick kicks in, right? So let's talk about the licks. That's why you're here. So a lot of the scale is based right out of this C sharp minor pentatonic scale. At the ninth fret. This also has the uh, blues scale note in it. So if you know the blues scale. Uh, the 
chords suggest C sharp Aeolian, so natural minor scale. Uh, and so we're going to introduce this note. Uh, that's actually just the second degree of the scale, so that could be Dorian or it could be natural minor, but in this context, it's from the natural minor scale. But in any case, uh, for notes sort of outside of the pentatonic scale, that eighth fret is one we're going to hit. And then at the end of the solo, we've got, and this is just part of that C sharp uh, natural minor scale, 9, 11, 12. 11, 12, 14, it's kind of three note per string idea. And then the very end, we bend into an E chord where it comes into, that's where this comes in. So now you can think sort of like E minor pentatonic there or um, E mixolydian there, we're bending in. So hopefully that makes sense, kind of an overview of the theory behind the uh, solo. It's not too, you know, too involved. <clears throat> and um, obviously these phrases are more based around the pentatonic scale than anything else. So let's get started. And that is 11th fret of the G, 12th fret on the B. Hold down the B with your pinky and bend up with your ring finger on 11. Gradually. Okay, and then we're going to do this lick. Just once. So it's ninth fret on the high E, and then pull off from 12 to 9 on the B, and then 12 on the high E with lots of attitude and vibrato. Okay, so once again. Okay, um, now we're going to play this cool lick. Um, well, let's, let me show you the whole lick and then we'll break it down. There's a lot of triplets in here, by the way. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. Which makes sense because the rhythm is like a 16th note swung kind of a rhythm. Uh, and so a lot of the phrasing is based on triplet phrasing. And I think if you keep that in mind, that's really going to help you when you're trying to learn these licks is to keep that in mind. Um, uh, also, just, you know, in your head, one, two, three, one, two, three. But also you can look on the, uh, the tab of the notation, see where the triplets are broken up. So we're going to play um, 9 on the high E, and then 12 pull off to 9B, and then bend 11 up a whole step on the G, and then 9, 9 on the B in the high E. Kind of a typical blues lick, right? And then 12 pull off to 9, and 11 on the G. 12, 12 pull off to 9B, 11G. Then do that again. Okay, and then 9B, and then 11G. Bend, release, pull off to 9, 11B. And then hammer on 9 to 11 on the G and slide up to 11. Make sure and add a lot of vibrato to um, 13. You should be sliding up to 13. 9, 11, up to 13. So you get this. Okay, now from here, um, we're going to bend this 13 up a half step and then release it. And we're going to come down. Notice that little swing type of rhythm there. That's the next lick. So half step bend on 13. Release. Slide from 11 back to 9. 
and then go right into a bend at 11 on the G. So you're gonna bend 11 up a, a whole step and then uh, release it and play 11 9 on the G. So and then do uh, a pull off from 11 to 9 on the G and then uh, 11 on the D. Now, so that whole thing is. Now we're going to play nine on the G bend with your index finger. That's a. It's a whole step bend here. If you're not used to bending with your index, you might have a little trouble with this at first, but just keep at it. Uh, and see if you can build up the strength to do that. You might need to build up your calluses a little bit on that index finger. And we're going to bend that up a whole step and then come down to 11 on the D and then 9 on the D. And then 11G, 9G. Slight bend on 9 there. Twice on 11D. And then a little blues bend on nine on the G. So. All right, so if I do it from here. So then we launch in, this will be kind of the second half of the solo here. We're going to um, launch into this really cool uh, fluid lick. That's a lot of notes. Um, uh, at a medium tempo, it's going to sound like this. It's um, triplet based. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So let's take this kind of slowly here. So we're going to bend, we're going to play 9 on the G and then uh, 11 G and then bend 11 up immediate. And then that bluesy style there where we have 9 on the B and 9 high E. Now this is a cool here. So we're going to pull off 12 to 9 on the high E. And then play 9 B, 9 high E, 9 B again. And then pull off 12 to 9. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Okay, and then play 12, 9 again on the B. And 11, G. And do it again. 12, 9, 12, pull off to 9, and 11, G. So that's the first part of the lick. Okay, now we're going to do a descending run here. So it starts on 9 on the B. And this is 9, and then 12 and 11 G. And then 12 G, pull off to 11, pull off to 9 G. And then we're going to play 11 G, pull off to 9, slide back to 8. And then play 9 on the G, pull off to 8. Okay, so that's... Uh, 
7 on the A, hammer on to 9, and play it again. So play not that 9 twice, F the hammer, and slide it right up to 12. And get ready for the last phrase there. So let's go back. So if we put that together with the first part of the lick. Um, yeah, you know, that's pretty close to t uh, the speed there. Warren's got a lot of fluidities to his playing, so try to keep these um, pull-offs and slides as, as smooth as you can. You notice there's still quite a bit of picking going on, though, to keep the, the phrase moving. So let's just do that one more time at a medium speed. All right, this is cool. So we start on that A there. And then we play 9D, 11D, 9G, 11G. Then 10 twice on the B. And pull that off to 9. Now what we're going to do here is play, um, uh, we're going to play 11, I'm sorry, 10, pull off to 9 again, and then 11G, so. And then we're going to play this triple phrase here. And that's high E on the ninth fret. 12, 10 on the B string. I'm picking all that. And then I'm going to do a pull off from uh, 12 to 10 to 9 on the B. And then pull off again from 10 to 9, all on the B. And then 11 G. So we get this. run is 9, 10, 12 on the B, and then 9, 11, 12 on the B, 11, 12, 14 on the B, so position shift, and I'm picking most of this, I think I did a hammer on, on the B string, pick that, and pick that, 11, 12, 14, and then a little bit tricky, once you get to 14 with your pinky, you're going to want to come around to 15 on the B. And on the uh, B string, and then bend that up slowly. Okay. Okay, so if we take it from here... slowly and I think at the top he repicks it but I don't remember for sure now the last part he uses a slide but I'm gonna show you just a way to do this if you've got a bar you can sort of emulate this you're gonna kind of dip the bar and then slide into 12 on the G
gonna then play a nine on the G. So you get. That, my friends, is the full solo for Way Cool Jr., one of my favorites from Warren. But there's so many, so many great ones. This is a cool one, a little different because of the bluesiness of it and the swing in it. Uh, but it's a really great solo to learn. If the speed of it intimidates you, just take it take it slow and take it phrase, phrase by phrase. And um, just keep in mind these are mostly triplet phrases. And if you take them in small chunks and keep working uh, the speed up, uh, you'll be surprised at how fast this kind of a thing comes together. Um, but mostly, I would say, really listen to the the bending and the vibrato um, and the slides and all that cool stuff that are in there. That's really what makes this come alive. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you next time. Rock on.